All right, so welcome back to Nebuchadnezzar, episode 32. This is bonus footage of that mission that I just completed. Uh, you can see I'm running this thing at 3x just to see if this thing can be sustainable uh, so that we can sustain, you know, the, the mission goals at least. Uh, I'm taking a look and it says that I'm making 4319, but you can take a look at my money and I'm going into the negative and that's not good. What that means is that I'm not able to import uh, all of the goods that I want to import. For example, um, papyrus, for example, I'm only importing uh, 29 out of 80. Uh, and what that's going to do, and you can see my glorious villas go down to 28, just like that. So uh, there is a situation with money where sometimes the papyrus will come in and then I'll get my glorious villas up, and then sometimes they won't. So what I'm trying to do here is maximize the, um, the trade profits that I'm going to be able to get. I'm only shipping out 15. Um, see, I'm looking at it in December. So I'm trying to export as much as I can um, in terms of uh, of everything now, clothes. I'm trying to keep up with the clothes uh, as well, so that I can uh, keep the population up over the amount. You'll notice that I'm down to uh, three percent unemployment for the villas, and if that thing goes really low, that's when I start actually not able to produce the goods that they need too. Well, what is that building all about? Let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. I think that that is copper jewelry. And so um, what I like to do is just get another warehouse down there and, um, and bring in uh, the copper closer uh, to the copper jewelry so that I can uh... or is that brickworks? It might be bricks. Yeah, no, that's the bricks. So I'm I'm gonna ship the I'm, I set up a caravan there to sh to ship the bricks over, um, so I can get make sure I sell all 80 of those per year, and get the get as much profit as I can. You'll see right here. So I'm at 64 of 64, um, 75 it went up to for glorious villas right now, and then the prestige goes up over 1600, populations at around 25,000 or so. And you'll see I got tons now, 25% unemployment, 26% now of unemployment. So the city is riding high right now. It's looking really good. But the problem is, is that now I'm down to like no money. So whatever goods that I didn't bring in um, for that, that time frame, because I didn't have any money in order to buy them, that's going to affect the population. Although right now I'm at 26,000 population with 1,634 uh, prestige. So, the, but I'm not making any money. You see, I'm still in the negative. I'm in the negative. And it's, it's one of those things where I've got to try to balance it a little bit better if I can in order just to bring in more money so that I'm not in the hole and unable to ship in goods. You'll notice though that see these these villas are 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 looking good. I've got 76 of them, but now there some of them are starting to devolve. Um, probably due to papyrus that the papyrus hasn't been um, purchased and um, they're starting to run out. So you see, I, I built a bunch of villas over here and I had to do that. If you were watching the previous missions, I had to pretty much do that um, in order to, uh, to have enough workers. Um, and you'll see these things go evolving and devolving. Uh, I'm down to actually 40, what, 44 glorious villas now. So I'm not able to actually sustain um, the entire villa population because I cannot pay for the goods that I need in order to uh, sustain them. Notice right now the city's in a downturn, right? The glorious villas are down to 29. 
there's a, there's 28 job openings for the for for the townspeople. I'm actually below 24,000 population. So this city is in a pretty big downturn. And right here I I have um I have ivory that I need to send out. So um just hold for one second here. Okay. So we hold on a second here. Okay, so let's um we just uh did the Yeah, we just did the ivory, so we were able to get that out, and and now we're we're taking. I'm taking a look at everything that I'm shipping in. So I'm going to bring in some clothes. Uh, I want to ma make sure that I can sell some because what I really need to do at this point, right, is just get in. Um, just get in some 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 money. I, I I have to do whatever it takes, and maybe it's to shrink the population just a little bit uh, in order to actually sell some of these goods, so that I can. Um, and you'll notice when it was a downturn, they d they were not able to to distribute the clothes. Uh, because they didn't want them, because they didn't have the papyrus to even want the clothes in the olive oil. So, what I'm doing now is I had a big stack of clothes that, that I had, and I'm trying to, to sell them. I'll just go ahead and s send those seals off. But I'm trying to sell it so that I can make some money, and so I can bring in the papyrus. And that's exactly what's happened here. So you'll see my, 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 my money is going down below a thousand and and it goes up and down and it's it's getting to the point where it's going to go back down to negative so even with all those clothes that i sold it still wasn't enough to to sustain the economy so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to sell um some olive oil i just sold a bunch of it and uh, I just imported a bunch of it now. So I'm trying to stay up above zero. I mean, in terms of meat, I'm selling, I'm gonna try to sell like a bunch of meat too, as much as I possibly can, just right at the edge so that I can try to bring in more cash. But you'll see this, that the cash gets up to 7,000 and it immediately goes down to, to zero or below which means i'm not able to sustain the economy and it and i run out of funds to actually buy things so it's it went down to 437 well that's last time let's see if it if it goes down again what i'm going to try to do here is is actually make some more clothes so that i can um yeah the pollution's fine so I want to see if I can make some more clothes so that I can sell some more. And that maybe bring in some profit there. But look, I'm at negative two again. It, it went down below zero. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to give away my furniture. And I'm going to try to ramp up the number of clothes I can sell at 81 a piece. That's good profit. So I'm going to try to sell more clothes and bring in some more money so that I can actually keep it up over zero. Let's take a look. So there's a couple of years that went by there and I didn't go below zero. So that's really good. And take a look. So I'm at uh, 26,000 population. I've just, I just ticked over 1,700 right there, 1,720 prestige now i've got 77 glorious villas look at the prestige it went up to 1755 
that's pretty cool and uh, the population's up over 26,000 and it's staying there so by just having a, a few more clothes um, I was able to uh, to make sure that I get all my imports in now I'm just running it at 12 speed and see if I stay there um, but take a look I'm at 1758 uh, prestige which is really cool I'm at 0.91 for the villas, which is amazing. And then um, 21 luxurious residences. I've got one residence that doesn't have meat. And so what I'm gonna try to do is see if, if there's meat out there that I'm just not bringing in. Um, I, what I can also do maybe is sell a little bit less and try to get more meat into the uh, warehouse over here instead of selling it and see if I can get up to 20. There's 23 luxurious residences. So I'm kind of playing with it a little bit here to see if I can maximize uh, the prestige. I got over 1800 prestige. Now look at that, 1820, 1835 and 26,684 people. Um, The city is actually doing a little bit better right now. Uh, the, the, as you can tell, I'm, I'm actually starting to lose money though. <laughs> Just by not selling all that meat, I'm actually starting to lose a little bit of money. So that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Um, the pollution level just hit that, uh, villa right, uh, that residence right there. So. Uh, I'm going to put up uh, a, a large garden so that uh, so we don't have a uh, pollution issue. But here I'm going to um, basically build and uh, put in our livestock farm in so that I can um, so that I can sell more meat because, like I said, you know I just stopped selling a little bit of meat and then the 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 income started going down pretty quickly so i'm gonna put in a little thing here and get these guys to start uh putting in raw meat there and then i'll put a, a couple of uh, butchers there you'll notice though that i've got tons of villa workers now that i've kind of stabilized it at 75 glorious villas 74 75 i've got tons of i got 2300 2,469 villas, I mean, villa uh, townspeople that are looking for work. So, I keep on sending out the requests, the bread. Another thing, too, to mention is that over the years, your prices get better in terms of trading. So, you play this long, a pretty long time, you're gonna, now I'm negative again with money. So, you, 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 you do this a long enough time, you're actually going to get a better rate and your economy is going to get better over time just through the trade. So I'm going to have a caravan take this meat and send it out to the, um, send it out to the, to the port. And, uh, I've got a problem with that caravan. It's, it's got to send out the meat. There it goes. All right. So now I should be able to um, start ga gaining some um, some more. So let's go ahead and set that up. Let's go sell that meat maximum as much as I possibly can. And then what that'll do is that hopefully will keep me above zero at all times. Let's take a look. I'm going to run this thing super fast. It's, it's not going below zero, so that means I'm sustaining. So yes, you can tell. So I'm at 26,500, close to 500 population. I get up over 1,800 um, prestige every once in a while. Uh, the glorious villas are staying above 64. Luxurious residences are anywhere between 15 and 22 or so. There's 21. Let's see if we can get to 20 now. Kind of just hovering around 20 and it goes back down but um 
prestige up to 1835, over to 26,686 people in this city now. But I hope this helps. Um, if you're having any problems with this mission, I hope you, you it helps you to, um, oh, I'm seeing if the clothes ever get to 12 in a, in, a, in a warehouse so that I can send it off and they're just getting up to 10 and then they get sold by, uh, by the ship. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to actually just wait for it and see if I could ever sell it, but years go by and I never get enough in there. Um, So let's see if I can bring in a little bit more um, clothes into the warehouse and see if I can ever get above 12. As soon as I do, I want to try to hit that button. Nope, never going to get there. <laughs> what I can do though is I can uh, is I can say don't 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 take those those goods. And then that will surely get me, um, well, I guess there's nothing I can do because the, 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 the market is taking them. So I can't really play with that warehouse too much. What I can do though is... <laughs> Is tell her, well, don't sell them for a while. Don't distribute them for a while. Then I'll go ahead and put her back in. So uh, there we go. <laughs> so they didn't have clothes for a little bit. Um, but I was able to get their request off. But like I was saying, I, I hope this helps, you know, those who um, are possibly struggling with this mission to try to figure out how to maximize the space on this map and kind of see what the economy is about, how many houses you have, how many things like that you have. Um, if I move the clothes down and sell only 12 of them per year, what you'll notice is that I'm still staying at about, you know, three to 7,000 coin, three to eight or so per year. So I'm not dipping down into zero and I'm actually making a little bit of money and it's mainly due to that, that meat. I, I mean, I, building that farm was a really good thing to do and it uh, helped my economy big time. So it's amazing how just little things like that will help. Um, I'm having a little seal problem here. So I don't know if it's because I'm not making enough seals or it's because I'm just, that's the, that seal factory really isn't gonna do much good for me. I'm importing as much stone as I possibly can. Um, what I'm noticing is that that, that seal uh, is not uh, is not connected to a warehouse that actually has any stone. So I'm going to need if I'm going to build a seal place, I would build it um, <laughs> somewhere over in that area. And since I already got a whole bunch of meat from that other place then what I can do is I can take out um, uh, a carver and I can put a butcher in. Um, I'm sorry, a butcher. I can put a bitch butcher in over there and I can take that out and then I can build um, a road and I can put a seal workshop in um, in there because that one's connected to the... Uh, I'm going to take that road out right there and build the, the seal workshop because that one is connected to the to the warehouse that has the stone. So that should help me get more seals in to, uh, to the population so that, so that the luxurious residences stay up a little bit better. So I think that it's mainly the seals that have the problem, but I'm at, you know, still about 19 to 20. Um, I just want to see how, how maximized I can get this, this city at. Uh, that's basically what I'm doing right now. So I'm just looking at all ways to try to, um, I'm importing as much uh, as I possibly can uh, of the gold uh, for the gold jewelry. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place another jeweler down and try to bring in the gold jewelry a little bit more, a little bit quicker. 
So I got 103 and I need 93. So I'm up to 22. I'm trying to basically, you know, they don't have either one of them, but I'm trying to get as many glorious residences or luxurious residences as I can. Um, and you'll see that since I've done that, they don't go down to 15 anymore. They kind of just hover right around 20, 19, 21, something like that. So they're not going below uh, 19. Um, so I have improved it. And now I can set up, um, now I'm at 22. See, 23. So now I've improved it by just putting a couple of um, more sellers out there so that the, that they're constantly you know going through and, and and distributing it so i'm exporting 25 and that's the reason why i'm actually not getting a full complement there so i'm going to move that down to 12 and we'll see how bad that hurts my economy and see if i go down to zero again but um, at least I know that I'm going to get more more gold jewelry into the warehouse there. And that should help out. Now, I'm at 23 luxurious residences. 24 for the first time. And it went right back down to 23. But you can see that these little improvements are actually having an effect. The glorious villas are over 70 almost all the time now because I've worked out my um, my money situation. Although you take a look at the money and I'm back down to getting down to 4,000, 3,500, and it went down to zero actually. So once again, uh, just from not selling those 13 gold jewelries, I was not able to sustain um, the economy. It's a very tight balance. So um, what I'm going to need to do is, yep, that's right. I'm going to need to sell a little bit more. Uh, maybe not all the way. We'll go to 20. And I'm at 25 luxurious residences for the first time. Look at my prestige. Just hit over 19, 1,900 for the first time. And uh, the population was almost at 27,000. So that's about as maximized as this city is going to go. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this bonus episode. And the next episode will be Mission 12. Hope to see you there.